discussion only item another discussion on the item for um, the uh, it's, it's up to you uh, the book, book folks if uh, you want to stick along you're welcome to if you'd like to slip out you can do that as well we have a good display here we're sorry we didn't <coughs> So um, we have a discussion, and um, just I guess really to, to make you aware um, that uh, of, of what's going to be coming. There's going to be an application um, for a special land use um, for the property where the Amish warehouse um, sits currently now, and there's a proposal for um, some. Special land use would be sufficient variances um, that uh, would probably be different from um, what we have zoned and, and what we have in our master plan for, for that area as well. So um, I think if you uh, were into the letter tonight, so you can uh, read that. Um, and um, there's some other information in our packet, and then uh, hopefully we'll have uh, everything in order that uh, we can have. The documentation is necessary for us to be able to take action on this item in our, in our April meeting. All right, under our old business, uh, we had talked about trying to do some, uh, making sure that we get some ongoing training, and I know uh, Mark did some uh, training uh, this last month. Did you learn something? Good. Um, I went to some training last week for um, mostly ZBA, but uh, quite a bit of uh, planning commission stuff as well. It was helpful. But um, we, um, I reached out to um, Rebecca, gave me uh, the email addresses for all of the clerks and the municipalities surrounding us, and I sent an email out to all of them to ask them to. Um, Query their planning commissioners to see if they'd be interested in some kind of a, a joint <coughs> training time that possibly a common might be able to do with us or, or just it would help save some costs and especially some drive time because you, you had to go, where did you go? Right? Yeah, I, I drove out the last hour. But I was, uh, yeah, the one I wanted to go to was Traverse City and that's ridiculous. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just uh, kind of, I guess, uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep you in the loop as we, as we get those uh, training opportunities lined up. But um, And then I've also asked Rebecca, you know, training opportunities that they show up um, to her that she would forward that on. So please take advantage of those things. I mean, we, we can serve our community better if we're getting the, the latest and greatest info. Um, you know, that's the training I was at, they were sharing some uh, findings from uh, some cases that were had just gone down in the last a couple of months from the Michigan Supreme Court. So I mean, it's really, really current information. And so um, it's, uh, we need to avail of our, ourselves of that whenever we can. So we will keep you posted as uh, we have those opportunities. So make sure that you can uh, bear yourself to those. Right. All right, so we got a couple of um, correspondence issues and some other things. Um, I think uh, that uh, correspondence, um, that letter from Tony Norcus, I believe, was in your packet that you already received there. Um, Rebecca, do you have anything else for us? Not. Just a reminder for those trains that I emailed out last week, just get me your RSVPs as soon as possible because those will fill up. So the sooner you can let me know, the sooner I can get you signed up. Okay. And there is also a late fee too. Okay. So. Late fee. It is five days prior, five business days prior to the train. I said I didn't look. Are you on? Are you on the email list? Are you getting all the stuff? Okay. I have to double check that list, and I forgot about that. So. You can't hide. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to Carver City, but I don't know. I've got a trunk for you. Depends on you have to And if you go to the one, they do feed you. So there's food involved. And that helps you in your decision making process. You're on the fence. Yeah, it's just, we, had, we had cookies at ours. That was it. No, they didn't. They had lasagna and salad. And I mean, it's because attorneys did your side. Mr. Womack, if you have some comments to show us? Sure. Um, Parks and Recreation Plan, we were originally asked to bring that to the Planning Commission for their uh, buy-in, I guess. Um, after discussing the matter with the uh, Park and Rec Department, it appears the law only requires uh, approval from the highest governmental body. And uh, the timing just didn't work out. Uh, so we got approval from the City Council, and that has been forwarded under the DNR after approval. But I did add it to your packet uh, for your knowledge. And of course, um, the recreation plan kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, overall master plan for the city. Uh, based on comments from the last meeting, I did go over and have a discussion with the owner of the Jets Pizza, who's also the owner of the White Creek Plaza. Um, he seemed to have no knowledge or, or, or belief that he had approved the one way signage or the uh, drive through of the big B, etc., etc. We had some words and discussion about this matter. Um, and I have um, directed the Sheriff's Department to review the matter. And I'm also under the understanding that uh, he's recently purchased some land immediately north of the White Creek uh, Plaza, which he might be coming to the Planning Commission for. So uh, this may come up again, and we may be able to talk to him about some things. Um, I did want to add one more thing I did not have here, because uh, I just had this before the meeting. Uh, this is from page 8 of the Planning Commissioner's Handbook, which I sent to all of you. Uh, this is an ethical rule under number 2. Do not discuss the proposal with the property owner, neighbors, or applicants outside of the meeting. The intent of the information gathering is to ensure that everyone has the same information on which to base a decision. This is not possible if individual commissioners contact or are contacted by interested parties outside of the meeting. If you are contacted by the applicants or others, be prepared to tell them that you are required to conduct all of your discussions only when the other commissioners are present. Encourage them to come to the meeting, tell them when and where, or ask them to submit their comments in writing. If a contact cannot be avoided, it should be reported to the rest of the members during the meeting along with the general content of the conversation. You may feel free to request information from the community staff, but whatever information you receive should also be made available to the other members. I'd like to remind this board of that, because I understand there has been communication outside of this chamber from one of the applicants. And that's all I have.
Hi, Krishna number. Does anybody have any comments? Let's start down there. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> right. He's one up on this. He got it. He got it. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs>